Hello everyone, Scott here, uh, Telecom Guy 10. I haven't made a video in quite a few years, but I've got something pretty cool I want to show you. Um, this is Greg Ercolano's Solid State 1A2 key system board. It is a completely reverse engineered solid state board that allows you to plug in four 1A2 key system telephones into the board as well as two CO lines. Um, expandable up to two boards total giving you eight extensions um, with four CO lines total. But I've got uh, three 565 or 564 sets here and one 2830 with a recall button and a headset. So if we're going to do a quick demonstration of how the system works. Um, I do not have a ring generator so you will only get buzzers on incoming calls on the system and I only have CO wired to line two at the moment. So I'm going to use my uh, Cisco call manager here and demonstrate incoming. Go ahead and answer that. So we can answer and speak to the caller. We can also place them on hold. And we can retrieve that call from any one of the phones. So we'll retrieve it from this one. And we can place it back on hold. What's nice is it also has CPC detection. So if I disconnect here from my Cisco phone, you'll see the line drops off immediately. So you're not holding call calls for callers that aren't there. Uh, let's demonstrate the intercom, which is my favorite feature. By default, it's automatically wired to line five on the system. So I can pick up on line five and lamp comes up on all the phones. Now, what's cool is he has designed a microcontroller that listens to rotary dialing as well as tone dialing. So each one of these phones, depending on which port they're plugged into, are numbered one, two, three, and four respectively. So currently, um, I believe the phone we're on is, you know, we'll just find out. So let's see what's plugged into one. All right, so that phone over there is extension one. Let's dial extension two. All right, so we're on extension two. Extension three, it's our 2830, and four should be our green set. Yep, there you go. So the intercom is just a basic talk path. You pick up and you get dead air, just talk battery, and then you can uh, buzz whatever station you want to talk to. And if you're done talking to that person, you want to talk to someone else, you don't need to hang up. You can just choose someone else to buzz if you like. I'll demonstrate that on the uh, 2830 as well. Uh, because the, the, this recall button um, disconnects the line, you can actually simulate. You can simulate pulse dialing with it, but you can also control the buzzing. So that's pretty neat. Let's do an outbound call here. So we'll go out on line two and we will call, actually let's do this, we'll, uh, we'll dial our uh, Cisco phone here. Now to be honest, there's one thing I don't like about this system and it's the fact that the A leads for um, the lamp control detection is not, um, is not isolated from the dialing. So the, the lamps flicker whenever you're dialing on rotary. It's a, a little unfortunate, but honestly, considering how, uh, how much work this took, I'm really not going to complain about it. So we'll hang up there. So we can originate intercom from any one of these phones. One thing I like about the design with the with the rotary dialing on the intercom, I noticed that um, because obviously you can't hold a rotary dial pulse for a certain amount of time, it's pre-programmed to buzz it for about one second. So that way it's it's enough for a person on the other end to notice that they're being buzzed. Because you notice with the touch tone set, you to control directly how long the buzz is. But uh, let's do one more inbound test and then we'll call this.
we can answer that call and uh, talk to the caller. Place them on hold. We can buzz someone else. We can say, hey, let's do this. We could buzz that person and let them know that there's a call for them. They can answer that, have their conversation, and hang up. All right, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. If you want to order one of these, you can uh, contact Greg Ercolano. Just make a comment on my post, um, and I'll direct you on how to get a hold of them and give you pricing information. That might be subject to change, as I know it's an ongoing project of his. But uh, I was more than happy with the price that I paid. I thought it was very reasonable for the amount of work that has clearly gone into this. The documentation is excellent. It comes with a, uh, a manual which covers schematics and, and everything. This board is also expandable. I was saying it has a, a, a port up top there where you can take a ribbon cable and connect a second device and uh, have some fun. Thank you guys for watching.